Namaste, my dear friends. Today, we are continuing on our exploration of why the common man is not taking yoga as seriously as he or she should. Especially in times like ours where we are fortunate that yoga is really, really popular. Today we explore the eighth reason, which I call, Divided We Fall. The beauty of the yoga traditions, especially coming from India, is that there is a great diversity in the traditions of yoga, especially anchored in tradition. However, because yoga has become quite commercial nowadays, there is a lot of competition between one school and the other, which is a good thing. However, there is great division as well. Many yoga traditions stand divided with each other and think and project that their way, way of teaching, their approach, is better off than the others and perhaps even going to the extreme that it is the only approach and everything else is wrong. This goes against the very fabric of the term yoga which is unity. So rather than the different traditions of yoga coming together, we are witnessing a situation where there is division among different traditional schools of yoga and therefore different schools of yoga in general. And therefore we are not creating a common voice, a common stance to stand up for yoga. And the more divided we are going to be, the more differences there will be in people and the more confusion there will be in people. And any system that is so confusing will never be taken seriously. Whereas if you look at many other systems, whether it's the Buddhist schools or the Western medical sciences, psychology for example, even though there are differences in approach, there are certain common protocols, there are certain common approaches that have been well defined, the boundary and scope of practice, etc so that there is clarity and the problem with the yoga field is even in the definition of yoga there is not a common definition everybody seems to be defining it in the way they please in the way they want which sometimes is not really even consistent with Patanjali's definition of yoga so we all have a great responsibility as representatives of the yoga tradition to come together, sit around in a table, in a round table so that there is no leader on top but everybody is an equal participant and create a common language, a common protocol, a common scope of practice so that we can stand united. Please reflect about it my dear friends. Namaste. Namaste, my dear friends. My name is Kaustubha Desi Prachar and I am currently representing the Vidyoga tradition. Thank you for watching our channel. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please click the subscribe button so that you may receive fantastic updates every week on all the wonderful videos that we are presenting. And of course, we would encourage you to share these videos through your social media platforms to all your friends and students so that this kind of special knowledge can be shared to all those who are seriously interested in the classical traditions of yoga. Thank you for your support my dear friends and we wish you all the very best. Namaste.